today we're just going to cover some of the basics when it comes to uh, input settings and input configuration. So once you open up Kairos controller, uh, you go up to your menu settings, um, set up input settings. Um, now here you'll see a list of 32 input options. Um, you can think of each four as its own group. Um, that's because when you go from a 1080p or lower uh, workflow to say a 4k workflow, um, that first, in every fourth input is going to be used as your main. And so when you do uh, toggle a 4k uh, resolution for that input, uh, the, the three below it are going to uh, go gray. Um, but, you know, taking a look at uh, input one, uh, currently it's configured as uh, SMPTE 2110, which is the standard that um, this switcher uses for uncompressed um, streams. You can also use an, uh, a Delta cast module. Um, below that is uh, NDI. Uh, KC100 allows you to have two NDI inputs. And then we also have stream, which is really exciting, especially for us working in sort of remote mixed hybrid environments. And just taking a look down here, and all 32 channels can be used. Um, if you go into more, uh, you can manage um, some other features with that SC2110. And, and this menu in particular is going to look different um, from every type of input. We can go ahead and take a look at that. SC2110, you have a video stream. You also have an associated uh, audio stream for channels one through eight, and then a second audio stream for channels nine through 16. So we haven't configured that just yet, but um, those same, same sort of deal here. Uh, you put in that multicast IP address and the port number associated with that stream and click OK, close out the window and you're set. Um, as you can see on the left, we have a mix of uh, check, check marks and um, yellow icons here. Uh, you might be wondering what that means. The green check mark means that uh, the inbound video stream is coming in sync with the Grandmaster clock that is being used in the Cairo system. Um, so with that being said, that means that, hey, I have no errors. There's no added one frame of delay because, you know, if there is a mismatch, as you can see on this yellow icon, not in sync, right? So meaning that the inbound video feed is not as asynchronous to the Kairos clock. Um, so what's going to happen is that it's going to add one frame of delay to apply a frame sync so that things can be switched seamlessly on the Kairos system. You know, a red X also means like, hey, no one put nothing here. Um, so to continue on, uh, you know, SDI, we have a module we can select, uh, you know, again, back to the Delta cast module system, um, the specific port number um, and whatnot. And then, you know, below that is NDI. You can select a drop down menu, a list of detected um, NDI streams that are within your network. Uh, and then, you know, very excitingly, as we said before, uh, stream. So we can choose the different kinds of streams that we want to use, whether that be RT, RTP, SRT, RTMP, or RTSP. Um, and to manage that, um, we can ch change some of the things here. Um, say, for example, if we're doing a SRT, I would go to more, um, and then it would go to RTP. And then again, this is going to, you know, this menu is going to change based on the kind of uh, stream input you're going to use. Um, and in this menu, you would also enable some of your tally triggers um, and your PTZ triggers. Uh, some of the other, you know, in terms of tally triggers, we also have, we have uh, 4K Panasonic cameras and with built-in tally systems. So we would use that to, um, you know, to choose one of our five cameras that we have in our studio. But that automatically detects which cameras are using that protocol. And then we instantly have tally based on that. Um, uh, based on that connection, you know, so once you have those things configured under your setup menu, you can go to your inputs configuration and you can see here that camera six is actually, um, has been configured as a, uh, PTC camera, as you can see with this little PTC icon, and we can actually preset some of the, um, some of the looks, the keyframes that we want to use for that PTC right through the Kairos creator software, which is really handy. You also have a little PTC controller, like similar to actually the one that you would see in vMix, familiar with that software. Um, you know, and here I can do the traditional thing of pressing F2 and then having my rename ability there. That's also going to affect how things are displayed in the multi viewer. Um, so you can see I've relabeled some of the um, 
some of the inputs here and left some in blank, just based on the streams and how I've configured my inputs. So as you can see, pretty simply laid out input configuration on here. Well, that's another Kairos 101 tutorial. Thank you very, very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.